welcome to Quick Bites, the lunchtime live stream with your tech integration specialist, Scott Conway. Welcome and thank you for joining us on this episode of Quick Bites. We're going to be talking about converting Khan accounts uh, from the Clever login to a manual login. So I will just preface this whole session with, um, you know, we've, uh, it's very specific. This is a very specific session. Um, this may not apply to your district. So there are a couple conditions that, that must be met in order for this session to be applicable to you. Uh, first and foremost, you need to be a Clever uh, user. If, if your district does not use Clever, then this session does not apply to your district or your situation. So uh, in our organization, we are a Clever district, meaning that we have several different platforms that the students are able to access via single sign-on through Clever. So they log into Clever with their, their Google Apps for Education account, and then from there they can get into several different applications, uh, one of which is Khan Academy. Um, and so I'm, I'm putting this session together uh, although I have already emailed out instructions for what I'm about to talk about, uh, I think it's warranted that we that I discuss it a little bit uh, and give that discussion to people or make it available to them and also record this so they can watch it uh, after the fact. Uh, there, this is also a time sensitive uh, topic uh, because Khan Academy is making some drastic changes to their platform and how they allow access to it. So this session has been, or the instructions that I'm about to go through has been precipitated by Khan Academy saying, uh, if you're a clever logon user, we are no longer going to be offering automatic rostering as of June 30th. So uh, today it is June 12th, 2020. Uh, the topic of our discussion is of a critical nature and there will be an end to automatic rostering via Clever on June 30th. Khan Academy is still going to be there. Your access to Khan Academy is still available for free. Uh, you can choose to continue using it. You will just no longer be able to access it through Clever. The Clever dashboard's not going anywhere. Khan Academy is not going anywhere. It's just the integration between those two that is going to cease to exist as of June 30th. So there's a couple things that teachers and students need to do if you're a clever user before that time. And namely, it is to convert your clever login to a manual login. Um, it's unfortunate that this is the way Khan is going, but they are looking to expand their platform to a more uh, freemium style model. So they are going to give free access to anyone that wants it, but then there'll be some premium features available. Um, and I have a feeling the rostering is kind of going to be one of them. Uh, there is an alternative out there for rostering via Clever. Uh, however, it is an area of Clever that we do not have. So yes, I am aware of this. If you do happen to come across this literature uh, as your you know, learning about this. Uh, we are aware there is another way to do that. Uh, however, our district has chosen not to go down that path. So we will not be using the Clever Library, that, although there is an alternative log on that way, uh, we have to proceed down the manual login path at this time. If in the future, we have the ability to build this out, we will do so. But again, as of right now, our district is definitely moving to a manual login. So there's a couple things we need to do. First of all, as a teacher, you need to go into your account. If you're currently using Khan Academy, you need to log into your account via Clever, like you always do, and go to your account settings and set a manual username and password. It's as simple as that. And what that does is that allows you to go directly to Khan Academy, to their website, and log in using that manual username and password. Uh, so, that's the first thing that you as a teacher needs to do. Uh, you've got to go to your account settings and set a manual username and password. Now the students, if they're age 13 or older, will be able to do the exact same thing. They are able to curate their own manual username and password. So if you have a student who's 13 or older, you'll need to advise them to go into their account settings, 
and set a, a manual username and password as well. Now, if you are a teacher of students under 13, uh, this is the document that we shared with you. And it is the step-by-step -step instructions of what you need to do. I want to go through this really quickly because it's got some screenshots of what to look for. Uh, and I also wanted to obviously discuss why this necessity to do this uh, is, is now upon us. So uh, this is the instruction document that I've, we put out there uh, for the teachers. And we, I think we've even taken care of some student accounts already that we know need to have access to Khan Academy over the summer. So this is it. You uh, need to first confirm that you are a teacher and able to approve changes for student accounts. So that's the first thing you need to do. You're going to be in account settings. You're going to go to the teacher confirmation if it's not already set to confirm that you are a teacher and that you are able to set your student accounts. And then you can go to your classes tab and click on students. And I'm scrolling down. You can see this is not a, a, a difficult process. It might just be a little bit more time consuming. But for each student then, as you pull up one student, you're going to go to their settings menu and you'll see within the settings here uh, their nickname, uh, username, and then here's password. You're going to need to set this username and you're going to need to set these passwords. And then you're going to need to provide that student with those credentials. So a couple things. You've got to go into each student that's in your roster, reset uh, or set their username. And, you know, as we have done in the past, we tend to do first initial last name. You can continue with that. Uh, that would be recommended. And then set a, uh, a randomized password. Uh, you'll have to enter it again and then click change password. Once you set those credentials for that student, you have to communicate those credentials to that student so they know how to log in. Um, after you're done, just click on save changes. And that's it. Again, you just have to remember to communicate those new credentials to the student. And uh, at that point, you and your students will be able to go to Khan Academy straight to their website, click log in, and log in with these manual credentials. Uh, at that point in time, if you do want to link it back to your Google account, you may have the ability to do that in your account settings. I can't guarantee this is all kind of in flux right now and things are changing. Uh, so I, I can't say for certain if you can go back and do that. I know we have lost a little bit of that ease of single sign-on because of all of this. So that is a possibility. I just can't say for certain at this time. Uh, the one thing I can say for certain is 13 and older, the student can set their own manual username and password. Under 13, the teacher is going to need to do it for them and communicate it to them. We will be placing a uh, static link on the Clever portal and possibly the student portals uh, directly to Khan Academy's website. Uh, so uh, there will still be a way if you are in Khan to get to Khan Academy, excuse me, if you're in Clever to get to Khan Academy. However, you will then need to do your manual login from there. It will not single sign on and will not sign you in automatically. So a little bit of a nuisance, uh, a little bit of an inconvenience. Uh, unfortunately, this is the path that we have to take based on this changes that Khan Academy is making over this summer. So again, this is of a timely nature. It needs to be done before June 30th. That way you can kind of remain with those accounts and no one will lose their uh, progress in Khan Academy. And uh, in the fall, the students when they get new classes and new teachers, will continue to log in directly to Khan Academy with their new manual account. And their new teacher will have to add their students so that they are coaches for their students in the Khan Academy world. That's kind of what it's called. Um, so you'll have to reconnect all of that in the fall. Uh, unfortunately, we've lost the ability to auto roster. So a little bit more time consuming on startup for the beginning of the year for teachers. But uh, this is the path that uh, we now have to take. I don't see any questions coming in on the chat. So I thank you for joining us. I just wanted to, like I said, get this kind of out there, have a little bit of a discussion so you understand the reason behind all of this and the simple process to kind of ensure that we have no loss of progress for all of our students and that you don't lose access to your accounts. Uh, but please go ahead and do this before June 30th uh, if necessary. Thank you.